Hey, I'm Jeff and welcome back to another video. I am finally building my concept idea of the greatest houseplant plank system of all time. Now, the only thing that was holding me back was driving two minutes to Home Depot to pick up a reciprocating saw blade. So I've done that today. So it's finally time to get this thing built. A very common question I get is, what do you do when a plant outgrows the plank? Now, the problem with roots that grow on a plank is that they are for support only. The plant will receive all its moisture and nutrients from its soil roots. Now, this differs from moss poles where roots Roots, aerial roots will grow into the moss, they receive moisture and nutrients. So it's really easy to, when it comes to chop and prop, just take that top section, put it in a pot of soil. Now you might be asking yourself, why would you grow a plant on a plank um, compared to a moss pole? if it's difficult for the transition phase. Now, the issue with moss poles is one, it can be fairly expensive and it's very time consuming. Uh, they do require quite a bit of maintenance. You have to keep them relatively damp at all times. Otherwise, those roots just dry up and it becomes an issue. Now, the thing I like about planks is it's a low maintenance method. It's very affordable. I just use any sort of scrap wood that I can find. The previous idea that I had before is when it outgrew the plank, I just added an extension piece and then I tried the air layering method. Now it really didn't work for me just because I didn't do it properly. So the concept is you grow roots on the stem before you chop it. So when you do chop it, it should have a root system. You just put it in uh, a container of soil and you should be good to go. That really didn't work out for me. Um, I basically destroyed my Cebu Blue Pothos. Um, so I basically had to start over with that one. So I came up with a concept idea of uh, cutting out a small section at the top of a current plank system and uh, cutting out a small section on an extension piece. So when you attach them together, I'm going to add a, a canister or a container at the back of the plank uh, with moss or soil so that when the plant grows up the plank, it'll um, grow roots into a, um, a soil or moss, whatever medium it is that you decide, so that when you decide to chop and uh, propagate it, you can just take that section with soil roots and put it back in the pot. So it was a very rough design. Um, now I'm putting it uh, to the test. I started out with a little template design, but I had to modify it a little bit when it came to actually cutting the wood. Um, the reciprocating saw had a little bit of a difficult time um, making that exact uh, kind of round form. So I had to make it more into a kind of like a little cathedral type window. Here is the cutout portion and now you can see um, somewhat of my idea. Um, so yeah, this is going to be the small little section where the roots are going to grow into. And then I bought these, um, what are they called? Just mending plate brackets and that way um, you can attach the two planks together, just something like that. Here is the experiment plant. This is my Marble Queen Pothos. It's been growing up this plank for a little while now. So I cut the uh, template just out of the top here and you can see it's uh, just probably in the next uh, leaf or two, it's gonna reach the top. Now I do have all of the uh, aerial roots uh, kind of attached to the board with this uh, tape. So you can use Velcro, you can use tape, uh, whichever it is that you decide. Um, so this is just to entice those roots to latch onto the board. Um, but up here, there's just a bunch of uh, sawdust. I have to rinse it off, but I just want you to uh, see these these are the types of roots that you're looking for. Um, the nice thing about these pothos plants is they get all these little caterpillar feet. So they have these, whoops, large anchoring roots, and then they have a bunch of these little, let's see if I can get a better shot, all these little caterpillar feet. Now, when you're working with a plant on a plank, you just wanna make sure that you never bump the stem just because you don't want those roots to uh, detach from the plank. Otherwise, it's gonna set you back a little bit. Uh, they feel secure, and that's what basically uh, increases the size of your leaves. Now I'm gonna run out and grab a couple screws for the bracket, and then I will assemble this and see if it tips over or not. So the first thing I am doing is pre-drilling these holes just so when I use the screw, um, it doesn't split the wood. So the brackets are on there nice and snug. Um, yeah, the screws didn't come through the front. It's uh, a 5 8 screw length, I do believe. This is a one inch pine. Okay, so I'm just gonna line these uh, brackets up and then I'm just gonna make a little mark for the screw hole and then I'll pre-drill those and then it should be just as simple as attaching them when I'm done here. Oh yeah, that'll work. I just don't want it to split, that's all. 
So I can hear a little bit of cracking. So I'm going to stop. I got one more screw right here. And I can already tell that this is wanting to lean back. So I'm going to have to adjust the, uh, the angle of the plank. I'm going to have to add a little bit more soil down into the pot just so it uh, remains stable. Again, I don't want these end pieces to crack. I haven't added any soil into the pot yet, but as you can see, I'm not holding the plank or anything like that. The bracket looks fantastic. I love how it turned out. Um, when you get a plank in a pot, sometimes it has the tendency to either fall forwards or backwards. You just wanna kind of find the balancing point, and then um, I'm going to add uh, some soil at the back. I'm gonna pack it down. Uh, but right now it's uh, maintaining upright, it's not falling over. Just make sure that you use maybe a, a heavier pot, like a terracotta or something. Um, I'm using these larger plastic nursery pots. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of soil into the back just to provide a little bit more uh, support and stability. But otherwise it's upright on its own. And I love the little window concept. So the last thing I have to do is add a little container to the back of the plank uh, where I can add moss or soil in there so those roots can grow in. I simply grabbed a water bottle from our recycle bag. The plank has been recycled as well. That is part of a uh, bunk bed system, just the wood slats for the mattress. Uh, so all of this basically cost me nothing except for the, well, I had to buy the blades for the reciprocating saw and then just the brackets, which were like $6. I got a little pack. So um, this is a very low cost <laughs> method. Now down the road, I might come up with a better system, but for now I'm just using trash. <laughs> so um, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna cut the top off the water bottle and then I'm going to slice it in half so that the edges will uh, butt up against the back of the plank. I'm gonna keep the bottom intact. That way it has uh, a bottom so all the moss and stuff just doesn't fall right out. Okay, well it ain't perfect, but it'll do. Okay, so hopefully that is enough. Just really mangle that bottle. So it's, it's cut in a half section like this. Now I'm going to uh, size it up on the plank. So for right now, I'm simply using the Gorilla Tape. Now I didn't claim this was going to be a very pretty setup. And again, this is just the prototype. Um, so you can see it has the cutout window. I placed the uh, bottle at the back here. So now I'm going to add moss in here. I may have to add uh, maybe like a little mesh system to the front. Right now I'm going to leave it open. Hopefully moss and stuff doesn't fall out. Um, if if you want to use soil, obviously you'll have to add some sort of mesh, but um, as it grows up the plank, you can use that uh, plant Velcro just to secure it into the little window. But I'm um, absolutely loving this concept and I hope that um, it can work for you guys if you are choosing to grow plants on planks as opposed to uh, moss poles, like I said, which can be very time consuming and actually quite expensive. So this is a very <laughs> cheap alternative to the moss pole. I have some moss that's pre-soaked uh, just so I can get it in to the, um, the slot here. I can also put it in from the top, but uh, once the plant grows into the, uh, the little window here, then you could add saran wrap, I suppose, um, around those area roots just to kind of lock in moisture here as well. You can cover the top. So I'm just plugging it in like that and it looks like it's gonna work without any sort of mesh system. And there you have it folks, in all its glory. I got the moss just packed in there. It should do the trick. I'm just gonna move this light here so you can see a little bit better. Um, I'm gonna rotate it around. Everything's packed in there nice. And now all I have to do is just wait for the, uh, the pothos to grow up into the moss and we'll see if we uh, have some success with this plant. So yeah, let me know what you think of this setup. Aside from the aesthetics of it, let me know what you think of the actual concept. Like I said, um, it's going to be modified. This is not the first, um, or sorry, this will be not the last version. Now it looks like um, I used too large of a screw, like the, uh, the width of it. I didn't have anything short enough that 
um, a screw would be popping through. So I use those thicker screws and it looks like it split the wood uh, right here, but it should hold up. Everything's um, maintaining its balance. It's, it'll be fine for this uh, initial concept uh, production, but uh, down the road, obviously I don't want these, you know, pieces of black tape, that sort of thing. So um, yeah, let me know what you think of this concept, if you think it's going to be successful and if it's something that you would use in your home. I'm always trying to grow plants better and there's not one correct way for growing house plants. Obviously it's gonna be dependent on your conditions, but just doing uh, trials like this, just to make uh, one um, way of growing a plant just a little bit better. Um, if you are interested in growing these planks, um, I hope this helps you out. Also, uh, currently, if you don't know already, I am in a pothos race with Matt from Tech Plant just to see who can grow the fastest uh, plant up a plank, get the largest leaves over the next year. So we are on episode three. I do have all the videos linked in the playlist on my YouTube channel. So go check out uh, those videos as well as head over to Matt from Tech Plant's channel and go check out his videos as well. Um, yeah, growing plants on planks is extremely satisfying and it's fun to watch the aerial roots latch onto the boards and grow upright. So I hope you found this uh, video useful and helpful for you and growing your houseplants. Otherwise, thanks for watching this video. Take care, everyone. Bye.